what is good YouTube we are back another video quick banger not really a quick banger it's gonna be a long project honestly we got a lot going on we're gonna be working on the G80 today Whew, a lot of updates guys so bear with me it's a process I'm gonna try to walk you through in case you want to do some of these mods and additions to your G80 or similar model whatever G82 87 whatever you can uh, take these tips and run with them so you know what I don't want to waste any more time. Let's let's get into it. Let's let's see what we got going on here. All right, guys. So as you can see, the back seats are out of the car. Um, why did I take the back seats out? Because I am doing a roll cage from Studio RSR, and the back seats have to be taken out. So that's all gutted out. Um, got my trunk kind of messed up. So so I'll just go ahead and kind of show you guys pretty much how easy it is to take this, the back seats out. Pretty straightforward, so let's do it. All right, so <clears throat> again, it's pretty easy. The bottom part of the, of the seat is just held on here. And you just like literally grab it at the bottom, yank it up, yank it up, slide that out. And then you're exposed with just the back part of the seat. That is pretty much installed by some bolts. So we got a bolt here, a bolt here, and then in the corners here, there's a bolt here, right there, right there. So same on that side, so that's four, and then you just um, unscrew those, <clears throat> the headers of the bolt, I think it's like a T50. T50 socket, boom. And then you pull that out. Uh, don't forget to disconnect this part of the seat belt that's attached down here. You just poke that with the flathead screwdriver and that will disconnect. Uh, I think it's over here. Yep, and then that's pretty much it there. So boom, back seats are out. The, you gotta move the front seats all the way up. And then the cage will bolt somewhere in here I uh, gotta cut the carpet, of course, and uh, you know, see where I'm at with that. But I'll get to that point later. All right, let's bring it on to the back. And here's the back. So, as you can see, I do have air suspension in here. I will do a breakdown and, and review of this part at a later date. So I did have to unhook all the hoses, all the lines, all that stuff, mark it. Now uh, make sure that I got that. <clears throat> that I can bolt that in the right way. And then here, I began to cut using my Dremel. Begin to cut a square or rectangle out that will fit the legs or the bottom of the roll cage into the, uh, into the, the floor of the trunk, which will bolt here. So it's about a five, five inch, five by three. So five inch long three wide square I still got to do that side <clears throat> and then right now I'm just unhooking all the wires and whatnot under here so I can pull this mount off of the floor and then make it a little bit easier so that's what I've been doing here wire and cutting and soldering blah 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 so I haven't even showed you guys the roll cage so let's do that and here we are, the Studio RSR 4 point roll cage. I don't have the quick release version, but I did went ahead and get the, uh, got my custom powder coated to match the wheels of my G80s, BBS's, RHGT's. Again, this thing is fairly heavy. It was, I mean, shout out to those guys. They wrapped the shit out of this thing, um, so and you know had it shipped so the packaging was top notch i mean everything was flawless on here looks really good so i'm excited to get this in but that's pretty much it so shout out to those guys over there for an amazing product um i think it's going to be an interesting install but it should look good it should bolt up really good and i'm i'm definitely excited to do that and what i also got with it was the seat delete rear seat delete so it's uh, all wrapped in the suede or Alcantara. So that'll, that'll be nice and clean. I should be able to pit the bottom back seat back into the car. Um, 
and yeah, that'll be nice clean setup on the inside and should be something pretty unique. So I don't know if I really wanna, um, you know, set the camera up and do all the fast, you know, fast forward and time lapse thing. Cause this, I know it's gonna be a long process and I'm taking my time on this. So I'll probably just bring you guys in every so often and kind of show you what uh, I've done. So I'm gonna finish up this, taking this thing out. That way I can get a clear, clear view of the floor, uh, the floor, floorboard, and start, you know, making my adjustments and cuts to that. We'll be right back, guys. Oops. All right, back again with an update. Let's. So I got a lot, I got a lot done. It was surprisingly once I got started, surprisingly really easy to install. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and give you guys an update. Got the. Uh, Air suspension, tank, compressor stuff out. So that's cool. Went ahead and cut the uh, trunk liner mat thing. So hopefully this will match up to the um, the legs of the roll cage. And roll cage is bolted into the back. Let me bring it around here. locked up in here so what you want to do is all right so first of all like i work out right cool story so i would recommend you get some help but it is pretty heavy so you want to get this in first um you just tilt it back and kind of angle it like that and then lift it up over the center bolster there and bring it on in be sure not to scratch the the bottom of your car there because that can't happen did not happen here thank god so line that up bring that in i just went ahead and pushed it up here it is snug up here which is great that's what you want so once i got that lined up i then took this part brought it in through the trunk being sure not to scratch the borsha brought it in through the trunk so lined it up lined it up through the trunk raised it, you know, pretty much brought it in. Then came through here, grabbed it here, brought it up here, and I went ahead and put one bolt into the, uh, one of the Allen bolts in here up top. So just to kind of lock it into place. So then once I did that, I went back down, lined that up to the, uh, to the existing hole there there is an actual screw hole there and they supply bolts that do uh, fit that hole so you just pretty much a 17 mil bolt bolt that down and it's secure in the back so now what I'm gonna do now is tape off the edges here around here so I have no an idea where I need to cut the carpet at um, make some holes and get this thing mounted to the floor. And that will be pretty much it. But I'm just taking a look back. It looks really good. We can get a shot away here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Spicy. So let's continue to work on it. And we are back in the project. So took the roll cage out, as you can see. Um, key thing, again, I'm doing this by myself. So when I, like I said, the back part bolts here and there. So I was like loosening it up and shit like that. And it came down and hit this bar. So kind of scratched it on the back side here. Won't be able to tell, but no big deal. But I just went ahead and like covered it with some painter's tape. Hopefully that'll give it a little bit of cushion. I might put a rag on there, tape it up. Back parts over there. So now that I have cut the hole, so I just pretty much did a X, pulled this out. And what I also did was cut the cushion out of here. So that way it has a little bit more, you know, it should kind of fold over the thing. I, I cut this flap off completely just to give me some more uh, clearance, but on this side, you really won't be able to see the gap 
pivots on this side. Did the same thing over there. Boom, boom. So now I will put the cage back in and yeah, get this thing somewhat mocked up, drilled up. I gotta drill a hole in there and stick the bolt in there. All that stuff, but I'm gonna do that while the cage is on because I don't want to keep taking it out and stuff like that. So let's get it. recorded and left off at but let's bring you in see what we got so far pretty much done um, let's see here Damn. so 
there. Cage is pretty much in there. Seat delete looks nice and clean. Looks good, looks good. So yeah, cage is in. Looking solid, so I'll go around to the back. Oh, got my air suspension back in. I have to, I did all the electrical underneath. Now I just gotta put the lines back in and hope for the best. But um, yeah, pretty much it. Um, I still have to, drill and bolt the bottom pieces on and I will do that as well but other than that all in all definitely like how it um how it's you know how it turned out again studio RSR roll cage in a 2021 G80 M3 matches the face of the wheels yeah I'm, I'm excited I think this is gonna look amazing when it's all back on the ground again again I said I gotta uh, gotta make some adjustments to my air suspension that's why the car is up on the jacks but with these I can just lock them into place and leave the car up there for as long as I want so just even look at it from here you know like, I don't know if you guys oh man Oh man, see that? I wonder how far my seats will go back. What up, day two of the roll cage install. Let's show you what I have done and what I needed to do and what I've done on day two. So, roll cage is in, mounted it to the rear. This is good, mounted it up top um, to the other member of the roll cage. I needed to drill the floor to put the bolts through the floor, bolts it up from underneath. So I've done that and I'll show you pretty much how that whole process went. Don't mind my neighbors listening to the gayest fucking playlist ever, but all good. <clears throat> all right, so these were the bits that I had for my Milwaukee drill. They were not sufficient to drill through the metal floor. So I had to get different ones. <laughs> So I got these. I guess these are different coated um, cobalt drill bits for metal stainless steel. So I use these on my Milwaukee drill. Put drill through here. Use the supplied bolts um, to you know, secure it down there. So I bring it up underneath. So I had to take off this longer panel here and the bolts peek out. One right there and then one right there. So you just have to kind of reach back with 13 mil, 13 mil up top and secure it down. So I got this side done. Um, I gotta do the other side. So taking off all these panels is always a pain in the ass. And this thing goes all the way up to like where the the uh, down pipes are pretty much. So yeah, fun times. So that's pretty much it. There you have it folks. Finally, 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 finally done. Finally done installing the Studio RSR roll cage. Check it out. It is secure, bolted down underneath. Go room. Just take a stop there. So yeah, Ugh, I love it, man. I think it's pretty dope. I gotta get all my tools out, but uh, match the wheels. And yeah, man. So awesome mod. 
not too hard to install. I had air suspension in the back, so of course that's gonna, you know, make things a little bit more difficult because I had to unhook all that stuff and then re-hook it back all up and make sure the tank and everything fits in there properly. But um, I like it, I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, again, Studio RSR, roll cage for the G80, they make it for the G82, Supras, all kinds of cars at, at 80s. Um, yeah, great, great uh, product, great customer service, great support. It does take some time to get, which is fine. It's custom made to order. So you order, they start building, and then they ship it out. Shipping was, was great, it's packaged really well, no damages, no issues. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to finish up this car for the time being, get it back on the ground, and uh, get some shots for you guys, get some, some cinematics. I've been working on that as well. So, yeah, um, that's it for now for this portion of the G80 build series. Again, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys on the next one where I think I'll be working on the sharp nose next. So, yeah, we gotta get that thing on the road. And that's it for now, guys. Peace out.